Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a whitelist system for your game. And I'm going to be using our uh, announcement system that I did in the last video. If you want to check it out, it's going to be on the screen right now. So let's just get into it. So I had the file from what I've posted. This will be in the description below if you want to get this as well in, in the other video as well. So in the announcement uh, model, uh, and then we have these. So I'm just going to place these where they're supposed to go. This goes in there. And we got and replicate storage all right so now we have to make a whitelist system so what i want to do is when the ui will only pop up for certain people and it's going to be from a key bind uh so let's just do that so i want to come over here into the announcement gui and we're going to put a local script in here underneath the right uh frame so inside the script we have all of this so first off we got the script apparent that visible that's going to be the stream right here it's going to decide whether it's false or true the false means it's closed so we're going to have the close at the beginning and we also have a server uh, user input service which is going to be used down here for when we do the input and now we have a list of all the players that is allowed to press or able to do the announcement system so you can put usernames over here but you have to put a comma after every username uh, so the script would actually read it as a username and it would read a whole list of usernames. So down here we actually have the uh, function that does the uh, uh, allowed event. So it would take a the player's name and it would check this list and see if the name's in this list. If it's in the list then it goes over here and it can either open or close the GUI. Now if it's on the list it's not going to do any of the functions, it's going to keep it closed. Uh, but players can change their name. So you're going to have to change the player's name every time they change your name. So other than that, we come down here to the input service. So the script checks if you press the letter M on your keyboard. And if you do, it's going to go through this event, which the, with it, the player's username. So it's going to get the player's username, come down over here. It's going to check to make sure that the username is in the list and it will either open or close the GUI. So let me change this to my username. And we can test the game, make sure it works. So over here I press M, it opens, I can type whatever I want, announce, and I can close it with the M button. So now, if you come back here, let's make sure that this thing works with multiple people in the server. So you make sure it works even if it is a wireless system so let's come over here to so let's go back to the script so for me testing i'm just going to change this to player one and i'm going to test it with two player server all right so we have two instances open or two games open so you have player one and player two player two if i press m it the ui cannot open at all i'm spamming m right now and nothing happens but if i go to player one and i press m the announcement pops up and I could type an announcement in here announce it and it still pops up on both screens the announcement get closed and nothing happens this player cannot do anything while this player does everything so yeah that's it all right so thank you for watching this video everyone hopefully you enjoyed the video sorry I haven't made content that much for you all and I'll see you next video bye